Am I live? I believe I'm live. Good morning. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Don't talk with your mouth full. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right. Well, at the end of last uh, game, we got mutilated, torn to shreds by a Gigantor monster. So, let's see what happens. It did. It unlocked a new story. Hmm. Dreedy lady. Good morning. How are you? I, uh, just getting going. We unlocked a new character because Rook died. So, I'm gonna start again. Sonic Blade! What's up, buddy? We're gonna start a new character. So, I'll probably have to do some new voices. Hmm. 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 Didn't have any coffee in it. Yeah, I know that feel. There's to you. Uh, yeah, you look down and that, that coffee cup was empty. That's a bummer. You gotta, you know, have that second cup because that first one was, was empty. Duh. Alright. I have no idea what to do with this guy. Let's see how different the mechanics are. Oh, it was just water. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought maybe you had drank it and went, where'd that coffee go? Hmm? Yep. Uh, yep. All right. Um, let's try it. Who's this? Start a new run. The inheritance. Smith goes home and finds some stuff out. Smith? Smith? Alright, Smith the Wastrel. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. It's been so long since we started a new character. Uh. Okay, negotiation deck, battle deck, perks. Let's see what perks we have available. Well, let's wait. Let's look at his deck. He's got bravado, renown, increase the maximum damage, apply composure. Oh my goodness, this is insert self promotion. Okay, we don't know what this guy's mechanics are, so. Okay, well, let's... How do we go back? Oh, there it is, hiding behind chat. How does he fight? Let's, he fights with a big hammer. Oh, nice. He's toughened up. Alright, oh my goodness, he has almost no cards. Okay. An empty bottle. Okay, so he's some kind of brawler, bar guy something okay let's see what happens he is to play cards and those cards will do stuff hmm hmm I'll think on it that's I gotta wrap my head around that um <laughs> don't say it enough love you Sonic all right let's pick some perks Oh, 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 we got it. Okay. So, what's this that I can't see? Ten shields every time you use an item card with a charge. Okay. Can't see that because of my pumpkin head. Tough once per day. Drink and eat without repercussions. Ooh, that was a good word. Um, and swear jar. Start your run with an additional 75 shields. Or gain max health. This is probably gain max resolve. 
And that's shields every time you use an item card with a charge. Well, I don't know this guy's mechanics. So most, most two cards. Oh, interesting. Wait, does this mean we have these points to spend? And we can unlock stuff? Or do we have to choose? Hmm. Okay, unlocks. Unlock six tier one perks to enable this tier. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Everything you install immediately upgrades. Something attack each battle. New pets are immediately trained. Ooh. Or start a game, one random person will like you. <laughs> uh. Fatigue starts one turn later than normal. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, we've got 13 points. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, let's go with the pets. We'll unlock the pets thing, which then unlocks this tier. And let's see what we got. Draw two additional cards at the start of every battle and negotiation. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, animal bond. Eating food also restores the health of your pet. Hmm, neat. Benefits at the start of the game. Two random people will like you. You're charming. At the start of each day, random person that likes you will instead love you. Good health. Gain nine. Maximum health. Gourmet, eating heals 8, bonus health, and drinking restores extra resolve. Ooh, I like that one. Maximum resolve, and fatigue starts two turns later. We got 12 points. Well, because, I mean, obviously we're going to buy a batch of these. Let's do the pet thing. is uh, I don't care if people like me I don't like I care if they like or love me let's go health let's go resolve uh, we still got six points are there any of these we want to buy uh, person will like you no Uh, well, immediate upgrades is kind of cool, but, uh, meh. Meh. I'm on to the next level, man. I don't need to monkey around. Um, sure. Let's be a gourmet. Start a game. People will like you. Ah. I like the draw two additional cards. Oh, we got what? We even got extra perks sp spots, spots, spots. Oh my goodness! What's this? I can't see what it says. Something gifts. Show gifts. Gifts, griffs. I don't know. Graphs, maybe. Okay, let's uh, put some stuff in some slots. Oh, we got two points left. Uh, I don't like anything there. One, two, three, four, five. But I gotta take one to get to this next tier. Uh, let's take the fatigue thing. Okay. And then we'll go here. And we'll take that. We'll go here. We'll take that. Resolve health and extra money or uh, restore health on my pet. See the screen. Good morning. Good morning. We'll start the day this morning with a song for you and you and you. <clears throat> uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, more e eating and drinking gives more healthy, good stuff. Eating helps my pet, or two additional cards. Hmm. 
Oh, we're starting the new, we're starting with Agent Smith, the, the hammerhead looking dude. So, hmm, uh, but we don't know. We don't know, man. We don't know. So, um, I don't know how often or when we're going to get a pet. So I'm going to skip the pet thing for now because it's a new character. And I think I'm going to start, I'll start with the alert. Let's, let's go that route. My third one. Alert. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Once a day, eat or drink without repercussions. Now that's more stamina or whatever, but this one's... So can these stack? Can I take two of these? Hmm. Oh, neat. Neat, I could stack. Um... Eat without percussions. Let's make uh, let's make this third one the eating. Killing time. All right. Enjoyed opening my exceed on Friday. What's an exceed? Let's do that. Let's take the gourmet. Okay. Uh, what's this? That means I don't want to find out. Oh, that's like awards. Blah. Okay, we picked our stuff. Clear slot, clear all slots. Back. Whoo! Okay. Let's uh, get all cool and stuff. And. Whew. Start. Start at level one. You're about to start a game at introduction. This difficulty level provides an introduction for players who are new to deck builders. Experienced players may wish to start at, start at level 1 for a more balanced challenge. Didn't it just say I started at level 1? Oh, 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 you're about to start a game at introduction. Oh, this wasn't a thing before. Uh, what do you guys think? Level 1! You have to pay close attention to their behaviors. If you die, you will have to restart. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Be able to continue once per storyline. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Can we start at level 99? Oh, no. Hungry cats to get you out of bed. <laughs> Right. You were born to disappoint. When your wealthy parents tried to foot you with the bill of their ambitions, you left the check with your siblings and hit the road. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words. So while you gambled and drank your way through every dive bar this side of the sea, your parents cleaned up after you, eager to keep the family name out of legends. Meanwhile, your siblings flourished. The Rue, the baby, grew out of diapers and into the merchant's guild, keeping his skin oily. Mullafy, your twin sister, sharpened her teeth in the mm -hmm. swimming up the ranks like a sharp tooth eel. And Vix Molly, the eldest, became a Hessian partner. Guess those family ties paid off. So at least when your parents finally died, they had three other broodlings to be proud of. Aww. But when you came home to claim your inheritance, it turns out that your parents weren't the only ones to feel resentful. This isn't the first time you wake up in a gutter, but it is the first time it hurts so bad. Ew, no. <laughs> Eat the rich. <laughs> nice. Uh, you knew you weren't the family favorite. But to be kicked out of your own parents' funeral? Go over what happened. Draft a negotiation card. Check yourself for bruises. Draft a combat card. Oh, well, this this guy's like... 
Hmm. I mean, Sal was, you know, swing, chick, 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 fighty, fighty. Rook, I kind of did a negotiation run. Let's... This guy is probably going to be more of a in-between. Let's... Or... Let's draft a negotiation card. You've talked your way out of retribution before, but your baby brother talked twisters around you. Destroy a friendly argument. Apply composure equal to its maximum resolve to all friendly arguments. Oh, neat. Draw one card. Discard one card. Quip. Gain, when, gain whenever you... Blah, 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 blah. Gain. Whenever your core argument is attacked, deal three damage to a random target. Hmm. Hmm. Murder, how about time? <laughs> Righteous vengeance shall be mine. Um, alright. I'm gonna go with the turnabout. I mean, that seems pretty awesome. All right, I'll accept that card. Uh, hmm. Three resolve. Quick now you move three resolve. Okay, deal three damage to a random. Your minus attacked. Deal three damage to a random target and then expand. Hmm. All right, my brain is not functioning. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stick with the turnabout. Do this. Might be a good idea to plate your tongue with silver at least. Well. Oh, got it. Blah, 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 blah. Silver tongue joke. Gotcha. Uh, before you entered by the front entrance, elbowing your way through the crowd. This time, though, you head around the back. Dulcius Fusia. Dulcius Fusia. Hold it right there, Grifter. The captain has given me license to beat you down again if you need it. Keshasa. Keshasa. Ooh, he's got a deep one. I don't know if I can do that voice. If you know who I am, you know I ain't no grifter. This is my house. Eh, that doesn't work. I'll try again. Not anymore. Besides, I've been stationed here for five years, and this is the first time I've seen you. <laughs> I've got to give him a voice. I don't know. We'll work on it. I had better things to do. Let my glands harden around this dump, didn't I? Oh, I had better things to do than let my glands harden around this dump, didn't I? But a shahu? Kradeshi politics are, are never kind, but to be disowned by your own brood, that must sting. It'd take time and self-reflection to notice where your feelings are at, and you'd rather avoid it altogether. <laughs> You notice a box just inside the estate gates, a glint of precious metals catching your eye. Looks like some of the heirlooms from your parents' vacation home. Demand one of the heirlooms. Yeah, Bertie Wooster meets Otis Campbell. Ooh, that's good. Hmm, 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 hmm. Exceed is the board game I was talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Neat. Okay, I think my favorite thing is each box came with a little, little deck boxes for each character. Oh, neat! See, see, games are starting to think, and that's awesome. Okay, I will demand one of the heirlooms. Kokoshe, you expect me to walk away empty-handed? Sipiaka, my parents are dead, and I've got brood rights. Writes to that box, for instance. Rito glances over his shoulder in surprise. Seems the box was overlooked. 
No one here cares about your damn rights. I'm doing you a favor by turning you away like this. Threaten him. Beat him up. Let's threaten. For the beatings shall become uh, a thing later. <laughs> he'll dislike me. He'll dislike me. I think he'll dislike me more if I yell at him. <laughs> I love tuck boxes. I know, dude. Okay. Um, la, 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 la. Go. And you're not dead. I've tuff tuffled with switches before, you know. Only they weren't cozied up in the suburbs and they knew how to throw a punch. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, Citizen, that's... Uh, every year at Gen Con, I stop. They have this... They have these little... Uh, they're almost like balsa wood. Uh, but you can build your own lattice works inside of card boxes. Uh, or game boxes. And every year, I'm like, ooh, ooh. And I, I almost drop, like... 20 bucks on, you know, a set of these lattice works for every game I own, you know. But, um, but board games are hard to do nowadays, so it won't be a thing for a while. Um, okay. He's gonna hit me for four. I don't have any friendly arguments. Insert self-promotion. All diplomacy cards deal maximum damage. Influence is an argument with two resolve. Expend, remove this card for the rest of this negotiation. Insert self-promotion or clout into your hand. Oh, gain one influence at the end of your turn. Lose one influence. Expend. Play this card twice and expend. Uh, um... What's it? Does he have anything? No, he he does, but they're internal. Uh, abuse of power, incept, planted evidence. Okay, let's start with this. Let's brag. See a shot or not? And then. Yeah, we might as well go for bravado because we don't have anything to destroy to get the the other stuff. Well, that's two points, so. so. Shata biata. Bravado. You want some? Bokaka? Did you just say Bokaka? I don't know. Okay, what's this? Planted evidence. Deal two damage to Smith's core argument. And this argument is destroyed. Oh, <laughs> uh, I see. Well, gain two and not renowned. Gain composure. Okay, so let's apply three composure. I'll have to apply it to me because it won't save that anyway. And I'll gain two renowned. Oh, what's this? Oh, but we could kill this. Ooh. Oh, fudge nuggets. Alright, let's not monkey around. Let's just punch. Um, yep. 
All right. Yep. Did you must you? Ooh, 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 her gurk. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah. Stupid plague. All right. Um, keeping us all from playing board games. Okay, so I'm going to gain two I'm renown, and I drew a card. I can apply three composure. Okay, let's do that. And then let's brag. And we've got one renown. Okay, so it gains damage, and bam And we jump past. Ouch. Ouch. Ouchy, ouchy. Taking a mental beating. But he's done. Let's just go big. Go big and bubble. This. Oh, no. I can't use. I can't use Rook's voice. Huh. Expend a card in your hand. All other cards in your hand gain two damage until played. Ooh. Ooh. Piece of candy. Okay, expand a card in your hand. The rest of this negotiation. Oh. Okay. Neat. And then I've had quip and I've had turnabout. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> Rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. Morning. I got uh, Kermit the Frog here. Um, <laughs> I will not subject you guys to three weeks of Kermit the Frog. Oh, man. That would be awesome, though. I know, dude. You you keep talking about it. And I'm like, oh, that would be so sweet. I want. I, I'm I'm hopeful for you. Oh, and by the way, how? I know you're never supposed to ask a lady's name, but give us a decade because Risha is like got one of those timeless faces, and I can't tell how uh, old she is. Um. I'm gonna go with the forego. That seems like a thing I can get into. <laughs> you wanna see what your blood looks like here on the nice flagstone? <laughs> I can't, I can't, nope, nope. He's gotta have a voice. We'll try to give him this voice. You want to see your blood looks like here on the nice flagstone? Hmm. We'll try it. Frog. I guess owner got a bad rep recently. 69. Eternally 69 if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh man. I, yeah, there's, there's no way. She does not seem... Uh, that age at all whatsoever. So that's why I questioned. Um, okay. I'll tell you from experience, that stuff is a pain to get out. Oh, it's blood. Got it. Maybe you are th that... Ugh. Maybe you are that intimidating. Or maybe he doesn't want to risk a riot. Fine, but the... Bon quads notice anything missing, they'll learn you're a thief as well as a disgrace. You rummage through the box. Most of it's forgettable, but there's one heirloom you'd like to keep. Coin purse, training manual, healing vapors. Reduce mending by one. Destroy after one use. Heal restores health up to max. Okay. Replenish when this card is drawn. Draw another card. 
destroy. Remove this card permanently. Ooh. Ooh. Training manuals. Upgrade a battle card. 100 shills would go a long way. Hmm. Let's go with the 100 shills. We'll just be all about the coin. You take what's yours, or at least the only thing you're allowed. Now leave. Attempt to leave with a moat of dignity. <laughs> so I can ask about stuff, or I can attempt... Uh, sure, let's ask about stuff. Wait a second, I've got questions. This isn't your funeral, but if you want to be, uh, be I sup if you want it to be, I suppose I can't stop you from sticking around. Sucker punch ya. Ask then. Sucker punch ya. Um, ask about the funeral. Ask about your parents. Ask about your siblings. Uh, ask about my parents. This is all some big scram, isn't it? I'm working on it, guys. I'm working Don't on it. Up. <clears throat> At least tell me how they died. If I don't get to see the bodies. <laughs> you aren't alone there. No one has. Aha! Something fishy after all, eh? Something fishy and large, more like. Not sure how you made it all the way here without hearing the news, but I shan't spoil it for you. You'll have to find someone else to share the grisly details of their demise. You hear that? That sound of a plot thickening. <laughs> I like it. The plot? Or perhaps just the blood in your brain? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man, this guy's kind of I got to I got to come up with a good voice for him. Uh What's with all the peasants, huh? The Losaki. No way they're here to give a damn about this rotten family. They're pilgrims, so they claim. The cult has allowed them access. That's all I need. All I need to know. Pilgrims for what? <laughs> Dang, you got snark. <laughs> Why, for you, of course, the prodigal son returned. You got a lot of sass for someone at the top of my shuck list. Alright, ask about the siblings. Still don't make sense. Why'd Muffley even tell me about the funeral if I wasn't going to be allowed in, huh? A mystery you'll uncover for yourself. There's no love for you. Oh, jeez, I'm doing every voice. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I didn't ask you. Actually, you did. Alright. Attempt to leave. I've traveled the world. See you on the flipper side, chump. Look, my beard is secretly the fountain of youth. I shave and I go from looking like I'm uh, uh, in my 30s to looking in my teens, so Risha can easily be eternally 60. <laughs> yep, I agree. I agree. <clears throat> I got a big old baby face myself. Alright. Um, this is new and crazy, and I'm gonna have to switch up my... I have to switch up my light. Here, let's, let's do this. Let's go for... Let's go with that for now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever floats your boats. Obs, look. 
Uh, what do we got? We only got one thing? No, two things. Oh, I am here. And that is there. Life's got you down. Time to hit the bar. How's the sound today, guys? I've been told my YouTube videos, uh, the sound is really wonky. And I really don't like the way my sound is uh, on... Um, Lantern Noir and I's his talk show on Tuesdays. Great sound. Okay, good. The hideaway isn't your first choice of a bar, but it's the only one that doesn't have a bouncer at the door keeping pilgrims away. <laughs> Inside, the air is humid and heavy, the way most Kradeshi like it. You take a deep breath to coat your lungs for the first time. You actually feel at home. It makes a moment for you to notice that Jarakal, Jar, Jar, Ackel, Jarakal, barkeep, that notice the Jarakal barkeep, hair slick with the heat. <laughs> oh no, oh no, poor pupper, he's got to work in, <laughs> got to work in the heat. Oh blah. So right. here. Hey barkeep, whatever you got, that's on the house. Kapusukua. I'm in mourning. Ooh, touch a migraine. Ooh. The Adam's crunching his food, also making my skull sick. So I think that it's just me and the volume is fine. Okay. Sorry to hear, man. Oh, migraine is horrible. The, the, the feeling like you're going to throw up. Bleh, that's the worst part for me. Oh, and the fact that your glasses feel like they're going to crush your skull. Um, all right. I didn't hear what his voice sounded like. So I'm gonna do like this. On the house, you got another thing coming if you think. I send something. Smith? Smith? <clears throat> got it in one. Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time not doing Rook's voice. Got it in one, do I? The nervous twitching of the Jarical's nose brings back fond memories of your school days. <laughs> Sweet Marif, you old fluff, how you been, buddy? Boy, it's good to see a friendly face. I've had a hell of a week. Yeah, well, you and me both, I guess. Is there something you want, or are you just here to ask for free swill? Because you're extra sensitive, you notice that uh, Sweet Marif is looking a little limp offer to help oh. yeah well whatever you're doing count me in we're friends after all we are old buds like you and me we gotta stick together rook inflection it's gonna be hard to shake we do uh, what, what can I do to help, huh? Just say the word, and your old pal Smith will knock some heads for you. Assuming this ain't some trick, I got a lead on something that might help. I just didn't have the muscle to see it done. <laughs> hey, I got enough to spare. Leave it to me. Sure, Smith. Whatever you say. Rare import. Port. Blah. Blah. Rare imports. Battle and, and negotiation. Remove a card. Remove a card from one of your decks. Or. Render unto Hesh. Battle and negotiation. Get one of two rivals, Tithe Collectors, off his back. Okay. Upgrade a card and 100 chills. I don't know much about removing cards. I haven't got a feel for these decks yet, so I'm gonna go with upgrade. <laughs> okay. I got Hessians coming out the wazoo. It's bad enough under the best of times keeping up with the ties, but after the beaching, 
<laughs> Forget about it. Now I've got two Hessians coming round to bother me for tithes, and they aren't comparing notes. One wants it for the church, the other wants it for beach cleanup operations. You tell one about the other? Yeah, but they tell me to ignore the other and pay them. I'm stuck between them with no way forward. That doesn't mean spending my last shill. Bum, bum, bum. So there's Delina and then Lumirka. Lumirka. Delina. Okay. Free drinks. Woo woo. The bar smith. <laughs> Alright, at least it isn't a work day. Oh my god, yeah. Free drinks. Woo-woo! Delena is corrupt enough to keep the ties to himself, so it doesn't surprise me the Luminate doesn't want... Uh, doesn't want him paid. Lumuki is just a Luminate, but they can be scarier than the higher ranks because they got something to prove. <clears throat> I was almost one of them, you know, before I said, Hesh no, don't ask me again, and split. <laughs> you as a luminary? Now that's a scary thought. <laughs> don't waste too much brain power on it. I would have made the cut, even if I tried. I would wouldn't have made the cut, even if I tried. I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. All right. Every day is risk day. <laughs> okay. Um. Open the map. Okay. So Lamika has been leading a band of rogue luminaries who have been terrorizing the local populace. Or Delina is very comfortably ensconced in the cult hierarchy. Oh man, gangsters or the church? Who do we take on? Ah, uh, yeah, practice those mug lifts. Okay. Okay. Kermit the Frog here. Um, <laughs> church or ruffians? Oh, man. Yeah, dude, Sonic, I'm so... Yeah, I'm so with you on there. Let's go for it. I uh, will... Yeah, the church is going to be harder to break, so let's... Oh, what? Oh, dude, Nice. Oh, the artwork is so amazeballs here. Love it. It's dangerous out on the roads, but not every encounter is an ambush. Pazlock approaches you with empty hands and an honest eye. People tell me. Hey there, Hunter. You looking for a reinforcement? I may be licensed, but I've got a strong... I may not be, li uh, not, uh, not be licensed, but I've got a strong arm and steady aim. And I prefer jobs on the level when I can get them. Uh, you want me at your flank? I can be there for 80 shills. Negotiate the price. Mm. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what I thought, Citizen. And I'm like, oh, how, how awesome. They were like, they popped that, that, that Blade Runner aesthetic, but still had the fish motif and... And the color scheme, um, totes down with that. All right, let's negotiate the price. Just because, you know, it's a really good with him. Yeah, that. 23 versus 29. Ooh. But I'm already some resolve down. And I forgot to get some drinks at the bar to put things back up. Um... Yeah, I guess we fight the next one. That's a bit more of my take than I'd like to give. 
Alright, let's expend a card in my hand. I'll expend that. And everybody else gets heftier. And then we'll go... There's no way to get any renowned right off the bat, so punch! And punch. 40 twice and 80 proof. <laughs> <laughs> Would they use what? Suspicion. S Diplomacy cards deal one less damage. Oh, neat. Alright. Okay, I don't have a friendly argument. Um... Um, see a shot or not? Papa, All right, so then I got that. So then I can destroy a friendly argument, apply composure equal to its maximum resolve to all friendly arguments. So I can destroy this and I'll gain three. Oh wow, what's that? That's gonna destroy that? Oh wow, I might wanna leave it then. Ugh. Well, we know that's going to destroy that. Yeah, let's just punch. Yep. Oh, it's not going to destroy that. It's only going to hit it. Ah, wow, that was... That was some shite. Um, <laughs> composure, renowned. I'm gonna increase the maximum damage of this card by two. Okay. Um, can't protect that. I don't have enough. Well, I guess I could. I could put two composure on it. Let's do that. There's something I'm not seeing here in this build and how this deck works yet. It's too early. Um, I mean, he's already killing that, and now he's safe, so I'll just keep punching the main guy. <laughs> Ooh, look, it's Rook. Um, what? Why'd you do zero? I don't know why you did zero. Er, what's this? Bone tired. When destroyed, Pazak loses six. Oh, you're done. That, that's gotta go. Uh, Renown. Increase the maximum damage. Increase the maximum damage. So I need some Renown. That's what I'm hearing. Alright. There it is. Okay. Now I got big, big punches. Big punches. No whammies. Um... So that automatically does that, which does six, which these, getting close, there we go, let's see, um, do we got the composure to protect it again? I don't have any damage cards in my hand, so that one's useless. 
Oh man, this is getting crazy. Okay, I'm starting to get a get a get an idea here. So let's compose. Compose. And name drop, which gives that some bite. Okay, big whammy kapow. <laughs> okay, so renowned is like a thang for him. So let's. Uh, we don't have enough composure to save him. No! Oh, but with two cards, we could take this guy out. Okay. With one card, we could take this guy out. Whew! Ha! 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 Okay. <laughs> Apply two composure to a random friendly argument. Repeat once per enemy non core argument. But my bear? Um, I don't know what that means. Okay, I'll think on that one. Do no, no, no. I don't like ransack. That just no bad. Um, almost about to be Miss Lethal again. <laughs> hey, the Tierra is still here. Best part, absolute best part. We were playing uh, Apocalypse World. And I was playing the, um, oh, what the hell is it called? Basically, he's the he's the horror horror movie villain character. He's like Jason, you know, or, or uh, Myers, or you know, any of those masked. I think it's called the Mast, maybe, maybe it was the Mast. Anyway, um, <laughs> and someone they made a joke about you know something they found in this in this treasure was like a, a tiara and uh the character who was playing that character's significant other you know said oh the tiara and i grabbed the tiara and put the tiara on oh my god it was the best 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 all right i am gonna go with repeat once per non-core argument I think that sounds like a thing. Let's do that. Even footing. Dona Sun Sian. <clears throat> Be reasonable. I gotta keep some money for myself, don't I? I? Can't use the Western voice. I need to somehow. Anyway. Yeah, I guess all you. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, we all gotta make a living. I'll call it fifty-five. Uh, but only. Because you're a hunter. I expect you to have my back as much as I have yours. Pachow. Sure, yeah, sure. No sense breaking a sweat when I can employ the locals, right? <laughs> you're an ass. Oh, you're such an ass. I gotta... You got a bus. Glad we can do business. Just lead the way. Uh, we were headed here. Should we go there? Or should we go get our drink on and then come back? Can we do that? Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. All right, now we're ready. Now that we went and got a big old drink. <sighs> dishwalla? Dishwalla? Hmm. Isn't a dishwalla like a swami type in India that had a TV and a satellite dish? back in the 90s it was also a band right am I right on that or am I just like I think I'm yeah my my brain's old and don't work right the hash compound isn't a word stuffy 
You are stopped by a dour, dour looking luminary. The compound is closed to non members by order of the bishop. Oh my goodness. I really do want to save my resolve. The band. Counting blue cars. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know that. Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, fudge it. Oh, I don't like doing this. <sighs> Come on, pal. I got desperate need to speak to a priest and a couple shields for you if you'll help help it happen. Hmm. The quantity. Very well. Defy lets you in. No dignity. <laughs> A grifter Inquisition. Nobody expects the Grifter in in Inquisition. In condition? <laughs> You're not supposed to be in here. So <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying that? I'm here on behalf of Sweet Marif. Ah, yes, the barkeep, a very lucrative parishioner. He won't be if Lumika keeps double dipping from his pockets. Ah, yes, the new recruits are always overzealous, but the great beaching has wiped them, whipped them into a frenzy. Youth will be youth, eh? Offered a deal with Lomika. Uh. Let's ask about. <laughs> Why is the cult letting Lumika collect tithes? This is Holman. It's not, but with the pilgrims about, it's difficult to keep track of ledgers. Resources are stretched thin, and some of the initiates are taking advantage of the lapsed supervision. Not to mention a loud, dangerous, a loud, dangerous ideology to incubate and fester. There's no doubt that the Great Beaching is a sign, but the ranks are torn asunder trying to interpret its meaning. Lumika, in particular, is espousing dangerous idolatry bordering on heresy. Ciao. Maybe I could do something to help with your Lumika problem. Perhaps. If you could convince Quail to open an investigation, I'm sure he could find something. With their heresy exposed, the cult hierarchy will have no choice but to act. I mean, maybe I could just hit them really hard or something. <laughs> this all sounds very try. They're too strong to ad attack directly. Trust me, this is the only way. Now go. I have shills to count. Not the fudger. I'll show you a shill. Um, <clears throat> Delino signals to his security who pushes you out the door. Hey right now. Heresy in my cult? There will be blood. <laughs> Our chief weapon is shills. A nice heresy detected. Deploy the terminators. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh. All right. If Quail sees this, he might attempt an arrest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Lumika is getting too powerful for someone so low in the cult hierarchy. If Quail sees this, he might attempt an arrest. Or go punchy-punchy. Let's, I guess, try to talk, and then we'll go punchy-punchy. Blood for the blood gods! Oh, dude! Check it! 
this is so reminiscent of like oh was it called dark star yeah i think it was dark star it was like two halves of the the moon blade and the sun blade or oh my god that was an old car card uh cartoon because there was brave star and i think there was dark star I think it was pretty much the same cartoon, but one was like a cowboy kind of thing, and he had a robotic horse. Am I totes wrong? Anybody anybody ancient and, and decrepit like me and remember these things? Okay. Dat Sarlacc. <laughs> Skulls for the skull throne. All right. You find Quail communing with the beaching. <laughs> that, that, okay, that's the beaching. Got it. Uh, yeah. The, who would go on the water if something like that lived in it? No one. Okay, um. Beaching, holding tightly to a lumen-drenched piece of amb amb ambergris? Ambergris. What the hell is ambergris? I'll have to look it up. And he or she? All right there, quail. Yeah, for you, sir. Dang, he got a voice. Are you a pilgrim? What brings you to this holiest of places? The Losaki. Well, for one, my parents died here. Zikipa. Or maybe it was a little ways further down. The Losaki. Hard to tell on account on hu how huge that thing is. Bezabipia. Oh, I see you're one of the Bongwood brood, are you? This is hope. Hesh has... He Hesh's will has exerted itself upon you. Truly a blessing. Siabutia. Oh yeah, I feel proper blessed. The other thing is Delena sent me to find you. Elsima? Whoa. Convince Quail to investigate Lumika. Ba -ba -ba. Delena has reason to think Lumika might be playing fast and loose with the cult's teachings. I'm getting a little too close to the heresy department. You got any thoughts on that? Zamatale? Pachow! Ooh, neat. That's a cool symbol. Oh, the artwork is just the best. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. It's something whales produce. It's used primarily in perfume manufacture. Eh, neat. That's your for who thought thought surfing when a massive carnivorous dinosaur was loose in the ocean in the Jurassic World movies. He'd do it. <laughs> amber amber gree amber gree. Got it. Amber gree. Hmm. A new vocabulary. Okay. So he's not punching me at all. He's got nothing hidden up there. So, for enemy non-core argument. All right. I'm going to play this just to play it because I've got nothing else that I want to play, really. I mean, I'm going to play this, but... Okay, so, whatever. Uh, and I will bully. <laughs> you better listen close, because I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply composure when I don't need to. Oh, I could have spent this and gotten that out of my deck. Uh... Dum, dum, dum. Dumber than a ring of fire. Insult an acolyte of Hesh. What's this? Prayer of Hesh. Had one resolve and one composure to friendly arguments at the start of Quail's turn. Oh, that's gotta die. And targets all opponent arguments each turn. Uh, that's gotta die too. Okay. Let's. Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. Um. Okay, I got three out of three. I'm going to 
pull this, throw out that. These will get extra. Yep. Let's do this. Throw out that. They get extra damage. Um, I'm gonna kill this. And and this. Which killed that, gave damage, and saved my guy from getting hit. <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. Yes, you dare insult an acolyte of Hesh? Yep. Man, you are all about the tentacles. So, I'm going to. Uh, hmm. I'm not getting the gist of this, other than that I get a card out of it. It's kind of freaking me out. Okay, so let's gain the renown. And then I could gain some more renown and kill that thing. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Right, I got two cards left. Gain and draw a card. Okay, destroy friendly argument, apply composure equals, nope. Don't wanna do that. Two. So, let's do this. And that. Oh, it didn't kill it. Oh, it didn't kill it. Oh. Self-promotion looks like his version of all green cards do max damage. Okay. I feel you're getting the hang of this part of it. Yeah, the uh, starting to... Except I just really screwed up by taking a chance and assuming a card that did 1 to 5 damage would do 2 damage. Oh, so now everybody gets punched. Alright, now, well, live and learn. Now what's this one do? When destroyed, restore two resolve for every opponent argument. Oh, neat. Alright. Uh, Alright, so I've got renowned, so that's maxed. Expend a card in your hand. All other cards gain two damage. Apply two composure to a random friendly argument. Repeat once per non-core argument. Let's... Yeah, so let's do that. Perfect. And they've got four, they've got two. Let's make sure we destroy the tentacles this time, shall we? we got two cards left. Let's see what happens. We got it. Awesome. And then this one is. So that one's going to be destroyed no matter what. We've got no. Spin a card in your hand all over again. Can damage. I don't have any cards to damage. So I will gain that and draw a card that won't matter, but I'll get more renown. Oh, fudge! I did not see that. It was behind the chat. Oh, Okay, well. Live and learn. Fromage that that damage. I shall fromage the damage. All right. Argument. Okay. Um.
got to... I was wondering why you weren't protecting that one. Yeah, I didn't. I totally didn't see it behind the and behind the the text. I or my dyslexic brain did the math wrong, and I'm like, a couple points. Bah. Who cares? Um. Okay. So. Hmm. I'd like to get some renown, but I can't. I don't need the composure. I don't need the composure. So punch. Punch. And Oh, should have went with that one, but it doesn't matter because he's not punching this time anyway. Come on, give me a punch card. Alright, uh... We don't need it because, well, this is... The end, my friend. This is the end. Pick a negotiation card. Renown to draw two cards. Spend up to three renown. Gain dominance equal to the renown spent. Oh man, so this guy is a, a shuffling negotiation deal where you want to keep that I'm a big man and I am influential. So yeah, okay, got it. Whenever your core argument is attacked, deal three damage to a random target. Doesn't say enemy. Dominion, spend up to three renown, gain dominance equal to the renown spent. A renown two, draw two cards. I'm gonna go with this. Seems nice for just being a solid four damage. I know, that's a, okay, yep, I'm. Um, I went by and visited Lumika myself, you know, and something felt off. I couldn't say what it was, but I just really wanted to punch him right in the face. Go ahead too. Is that right? That impulse may very well have been Hesh's. <laughs> Hesh's will moving through you. No, I, I don't... You don't say. Should I have acted on it then? Yes, for whatever reason, Hesh moves through you. Do not fight it, or you will surely drown in the abyss. Yes, yes, <laughs> For my part, I feel compelled to caution. I would like some evidence of Lumika's heresy before I act. <laughs> well, I feel compelled to help you with that. Ah oh, yes, Hesh's power is great. It's so fulfilling submitting oneself to Hesh's will and seeing the tendrils align. I'll be waiting for the fates to give us our moment. May you soon again walk in the shallows. But for now, may Hesh hold you aloft. <laughs> Thorns damage is always a nice thing to have. Hmm. Okay. That's the basis of any major religion, you know. Lean hard into those impulse impulsive desires. It's clearly the deity's will. <laughs> Yarp. Okay. Let's do what we need to do. But, hey, that was the most convoluted route I've ever seen.
<laughs> I, I'm gonna beat up yoga dad. He's like a yoga instructor. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. It looks like it looks like me if I was a yoga instructor. The headband and all right today, people. Come on, class. Let's focus. Downward dog. Let's do this. Um. Oh. Oh. Whew. Uh, just go for it, YOLO. Jesus, apparently. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, yeah, it, it looks like me if I was a yoga instructor. Beard solo plus chewy. Okay. Oh, plus chewy. Chewy. Oh, look it. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you find Lumika deep in training that looks more furious than it is effective. I'll just use my regular voice. Are you here to bulk up for Hesh? <laughs> he is it's an instructor. He's a personal trainer. <coughs> I'm gonna die. I can't breathe. <sighs> <sighs> We're here to pump you up. <laughs> okay. This is too good. Oh, man. I hurt. Uh, whew, never give Beard any odds. Oh, dude. That's awesome. Community theater version of Solo. Uh, whew, you dog. You come here for some sick gains. Or you do want to smite some heretics. This is... Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, we gotta play some cards, but oh, I'm crying. I laugh so hard. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, I want to get ripped for hash. See ya, Hatapa. Sure. And trap or attack? Holy frijoles! Yeah. Nope. Okay. Let's entrap him. <laughs> Bro, do you even smite? Guy in the back looks so confused. I eat heretics for breakfast. Alright. Okay. Uh <laughs> So that stuff you were saying earlier about the priests being too lazy for Hesh to move. You can trust Smith. Cause he's got slurred speech. Um, no, uh... Okay, let's... Bewilder! You got a toupee? What? Alright. And punch. Shine show it da. Shine show it da. Shata be a da. <laughs> Shata be a da. Hmm. Fairly easy negotiation or brutal, and balanced looking combat. I know, I know. I, that's what I mean. I was like, take him on, and he's like ten points lower than me. <laughs> a dozen points lower than me, I think. Um. All right. Anyway. Okay. Okay, I guess that. And then self promotion or just brag brag. Got the 
composure. Let's do this. Let's try that. Play that. So we gained influence. Got that. Cranked these up. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Blocked all the brain damage. Ooh, what's that? Faith of Hesh targets two opponent arguments each turn for two out of two damage. Oh, that's gotta die. Um. You know, at some point we have to take GB on a trip through the brutality of Oblivion. This is very true. I have heard of said Oblivion. I don't think he's seen the glory that is Stuntman yet. Uh, okay, focus. Um, okay, yes, let's do that. So, he's blocked almost all of that. Okay, so I've got to destroy that. two cards left. It's two points. I'm not going to take a chance this time. I did get it. Okay, good. Alright, and that is blocked. Two renown. Destroy. Deal one damage to your core argument per stack of renown. At the end of the turn deals one damage for every two stacks to a random. Uh, opponent argument. Okay. So, building up your renown is a good thing. Building up and protecting your renown is a good thing. Is a pothole? Is a pothole? I don't like potholes. Renown to draw two cards. Okay. Uh, I got zero renown. He's going to kill my renown. So I'm going to protect my renown. Ha! Pacha! Protected. Let's gain two renown. Which powers this up. Oh no, it's draw two cards. Hmm. Hmm. Smooth lift. Ah. If this is destroyed, Smith loses 15 shills, and Luminous Core Argument takes 5 damage. Fudge. Fine. Got the reward card. She forms the Voltron robot with other heroes. Ooh, neat. Made me smile every time. <laughs> that and Chekhov's hairdryer? That's not... Okay. It's still partial to Apex of Humanity in the probably because no one expected him to be the Apex. All right. Gotta love some Sentinels. Okay. Those of you who are watching for me to play this game, my apologies. Because I'm... So something goes. I get distracted because I love when people show up and we all hang out and it's cool. Okay. And the argument apply composure equal to its thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to protect you. And I'm gonna take a chance. Here, let's do this. Gain that. Play that for zero. Gives me all the good stuff. And you turn one moves in and remove this argument. Can't read that one at all, so I guess I don't care. Uh, I'm not going to destroy a friendly anything. Oh, wait. To its maximum resolve to all friendly arguments. Hmm. 
Uh, that's going to disappear at the end of the turn. Uh, he doesn't have anything that I can directly attack. So... Just... Wait! Wait! Does this mean... So if I destroy this... Two composure... Even to his maximum resolve to all friendly arguments. Okay, so if I do this, everybody gets two. Nice! I'm learning. You get style. <laughs> get stuff piled on the space big enough to play it. I was planning on doing a big delivery box breakdown session. But now I'm all, ooh, that sounds so loud. <laughs> no, dude. Anyone who's ever had a migraine totally understands. Totally understands. Ooh, what's that? Fatigued. Oh, no. Alright, uh, can I take him out? Blam, blam, blam. Yep, I right, just beat him down. So I'm not even gonna monkey. Blam, blam, blam. And, and, uh, and for the final blow. Ugh. I <laughs> didn't know I had a prop like that, did you? <clears throat> did I play any of the season two? No, I have not. I have been so all about the other Sentinel games that have come out. I'm so dumb and so sad. Uh, I really want to play the tactical one, the like superhero tactics one, because um, we have it, but I can't get the girls to play. Um, and then I keep seeing the PC version of the tactics game, and I want to play that so bad, too. Um, <clears throat> okay. Setting Sun Ra gave the enemy so many deep, deep regrets. <laughs> Eat my Gwent card! <laughs> Smith has the smuggest smile, and he's spoiled rich boy, but I still like him better than Rook. Oh, neat. Okay. My verdict's not out. I think it's because I don't have a good voice for him. Maybe I should just dodge the deep thing, because it's really roach in my throat. And maybe I should just give him, give him something that's easier to do. I want him to have that rich boy voice, but I just can't, can't seem to come up with it. Okay. Apply three composure. Renown 3, apply 3 bonus composure. Gain 3 Renown only if... Wait, wait. Can only be played if you have no Renown. Oh, that's interesting. And it's for 0. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Goon. Create at the start of your turn... Wait, create. At the start of your turn, apply 2 composure to this argument. Goon targets an opponent argument each turn for 1-1. One, one. Oh my god. Okay. I see why they put uh, Smith last. Because the mechanics on this... Smith, you build arguments to attack. And that's, that's pretty crazy complex. Comparatively. Whew. Oh, it isn't? Aw, oh, bummage. That sucks. Oh, wait. Sentinel Tactics. It's okay, but my reckon demand is to download the third-party manual. Uh, the included one. Absolute pits. Uh, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. It's okay, I guess. I was a little disappointed when it first came out and haven't gone back to it. I've heard they've improved it. It isn't just about outlasting waves of identical minions. Oh, good, good, good. Smith is OP? I don't think he is. Because I don't, I think you've got to keep that argument, 
those that renown and stuff is his mechanic is renown like rook was the coin and sal i never did figure out what she was i think she was just play cards kill thing um if there was a mechanic to sal i i never figured it out so it might be good to go back to to play the freedom five board game sometime we can go over go do so over on tabletop five they have a demo oh neat the module at least they did kickstarter smith feels like a snowballing character yes yes it does sal the murder hobo. sal was like a murder hobo all right i am gonna try this card because it seems really cool i mean if i had these two cards that would be an amazeball combo but I'm going to try this goon because I want to see what happens. Tiempo, ma. Uh, can you maybe go into detail on that? Like, should Hesh be powerful enough to move anybody? I'm going to have to work on him. I'm going to have to really think. I want to do some kind of rich boy, frat boy kind of thing with him. But he's just too big sounding. He sounds like this. But it's really close to Rook and I don't want to do the Rook voice. Perhaps, perhaps not. Is it why spend, why send the beast, hmm? Unless it was an attempt to reconnect. Perhaps we've lost our way. Perhaps Hesh only moves a few, a select few. Hey, quit spitting on the gym floor. We're working there. You son of a beaver in the background. Chewy, quit spitting on the floor. Like myself, for instance. Whoa, hold up. Hold your tongue, Luika, before you say something that only the abyss can swallow. Bokakan? Quail? I, I, I was just, I mean... It, it was a test to see if this pilgrim was worthy of our teachings. Sucka-punch-ya. <laughs> Suck mm. uh, okay. Perhaps that's true, my gut tells me. The only... That only an interrogation will appease my doubts. Oh. Rejoice, Lavika, for your choice to prove you are afloat in the currents. Quail quickly anti anticipates Lumika moving with a speed that leaves the other luminaries rubbing their eyes. Bam, bam, bam. We've done it, Smith. For your sake, we may hope that this was the only task Hesh, Hesh had planned for you. Oh, no, I'm going to work for the church. Blah. Blah. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> Bad choices. I think he's sizzling. How do I English? <laughs> Words are heard. <laughs> I don't see Smith as bombastic. I see him as somebody who went through a fancy school and speaks well. But it's a bit run down and neurotic behind that. Hmm. I know, put a sucker punch ya. I like that when they say that. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> there was an old movie. Uh, I think it was just called Class. And I want to say it was... <laughs> I want to say it was like Rob Lowe and he would play golf and then he would get angry and just huck his clubs like all over the place and stuff I mean that's that's drawing from like 35 years ago that's brains work funny he wants to be a, a player not an admiral that's his brother yeah He's a party boy and boozer who only got ambitions when he was cut off. I, yeah, it's okay. I, I, I'm trying to work that in, but I want to do it deep. But uh, maybe doing it deep is wrong. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but I would be honored if our paths crossed again. Lumika hates me. Greybeard hates you. At the start of each negotiation, gain two vulnerability if your opponent is Hessian. All resolve loss is increased by one. Remove one stack at the start of your turn. Boop. Graybeard. Oh, slicked hair. Bandana. Yoga instructor. <laughs> Go. 
Dude, I, I laugh so hard. Oh, my chest hurts. I, <laughs> okay, Quail loves me. Oh, man, I'm loved by the church and hated by myself. Hmm, how weird. I you know it doesn't reflect real life because I am not loved by the church. Okay. Uh, <laughs> heal three health whenever you win a negotiation. Oh, snap. Dig that. All right. So, happy Gilmore's dad. <laughs> Why hast thou ostracized me? <laughs> oh, roller, you rule. Okay. Uh, pass crossed again. Time to leave. What time are we at? Okay, sweet. Still got some time. Okay, so what's this? Sweet Marif needs you to get one of two rival tithe collectors off his back. Oh, oh, that's the... to uh, finish this up. This is Holman. <laughs> I, I just, I want to pet his head. He looks so sad. <clears throat> the clerical error has been corrected, and you should only be paying the regular tithes once again. Can I, sauce you, Sean? <laughs> Can I have next month off to make up for it? Ah, uh, normally I would allow it, but uh, Hash is telling me I cannot. The quantity. Sorry. Ah, Smith, thank you for dealing with Lumika. As thanks, I'd like to deputize you as a formal tithe collector. Bom, bom, bom. You may claim one tithe per day to spend however Hesh compels you, of course. <laughs> so... So what do you think? Maybe maybe Smith has got kind of a surfer thing going on. I mean, he's he's aquatic. We'll we'll work on it. Uh, hey, not bad. How does Ash compel you? I guess we'll see tomorrow, but I kind of think booze will be involved. Chills and arguments. <laughs> Played enough Binding of Isaac to know the uh, apparently Jesus loves me, but he refuses to give me good runs or help me <laughs> learn to dodge. <laughs> Cha-ching! Alright, uh, thanks for fixing the tithe situation. Kinda wish I coulda, could get a refund, but fool on me to wish for anything, huh? You get paid a hundred chills. Ba -bang! Upgrade a negotiation card, upgrade a battle card. Dude, okay, you know how when I played Sal, I was like, negotiation mob keister, chuck that out the door. And then Rook has totally got me into this negotiations thing, so I'm coming around, coming around. Uh, I'm going to let battle slide too much, I think, but I'm... I'm really into the negotiation game, so we're going to upgrade a negotiation card. Okay. Ooh, let's, let's upgrade turnabout, right? Does that sound like a good thing? Ooh, even footing or turnabout, we should... Raise one of them. Destroy for any argument. Apply composure to equal. Or apply two composure is random friendly. Let's let's upgrade this. Apply two composure to a random friendly argument. Repeat once per en enemy non-core argument. Plus two. I don't know what the plus two is. Two. Oh, so it's gonna apply twice more. Or apply three composure to a random friendly argument. Repeat once per enemy non-core argument. Um, I don't know, but I've been told picking cards makes me old. I, I have no idea where I was headed with that. Um, 
So this is going to give me repeated plus 2. So then two arguments are going to get two more, I would assume. But assuming makes an ass out of you and me. So I'm going to go with this anyway just to see if that works. But ciao. Oh. Quest bonus. Upgrade a card. Sweet Marif likes you. Sweet Marif. Alright. And done. Pick them cards till you fold. Okay. Alright, so. Yay! And we got time to take on one more thing. So what's going on? He likes me. A sweet relief. Old friends. Okay, I gotta pick this because, well, yeah, I don't have a back or a next thing, so let's. <laughs> he does. I just want to give him a hug. Um, Sweet Marif somehow looks even more stressed than when you started the day. You, you can relax, pal. The deed is done. Ready your butt, cause this business is about to boom. Really? And you, uh, didn't make anyone mad? Mad? What's the problem? Sweet, sweet Marif slides a crisp white card across the, the bar. Someone came by asking questions, looking for you. They left directions. See ya, Hatapa. What? Wait a minute. Let, let, let's take it slow. Ask about the stranger. Did you recognize them? What did they look like? They had their face covered with a hood, but they sounded imperious. <laughs> well, that don't that don't narrow it down much. Everyone in the pearls got their heads so far up their asses <laughs> everyone in the pearls got their heads so far up their asses their voice resonates well they were dressed a bit ratty like a pilgrim not many around here who stoop to wearing rags <laughs> guess that makes me special ask about the directions you know where I'm meeting this stranger just about. I don't think there's anything there, though. Nothing memorable, anyway. The <laughs> back alley deal figures. Maybe you don't have to go. Hmm, I suppose if I don't, they'll just have to come back here if they want to talk to me so... to me so bad. Then I might be able to set up an ambush or something. <laughs> He's like Scooby Doo. That's what I just it just dawned on me. He reminds me of Scooby Doo. And I I don't think I can do Scooby Doo voice, so <laughs> Run the other Rand Reinformation is power. <laughs> nope, can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. And the sooner you go, the sooner you'll have information. Oh, I can't. I can't. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, plus, no waiting. I hate waiting. Alright, let's do this. Ziggy Pop. Ziggy Pop. Uh, Ziggy Pop? Yes! Or, wait, Ziggy. Iggy Pop. <laughs> Alright. Mm -mm. Let's, uh. Ziggy Pop is this universe's version of Iggy Pop. See, uh, let's all go watch Space Goofs. Let's have a Space Goofs marathon watch along for the next 12 hours. If there's 12 hours of Space Goof episodes out there. All right. <clears throat> huh, well, we ain't going to get answers twiddling in our eye stalks. See ya, Hatapa. I'll go check it out. Good job, <laughs> Sure, sure. <laughs> if you come back, I mean, oh, when you come back, I'll hook you up with a room in the back. So it's it's Shaggy and Scooby mixed together. 
пожалуйста. Let's see. Is there somewhere I can stock up before walking into this obvious trap? Maybe a place that sells self-defense guides or, I don't know, grenades? Supplies are a bit low right now. What with the pilgrims jamming up trade? But if you need anything, just head to the party store. Woo-woo, <laughs> party store. All right. <laughs> That place is stealing business. And wait, what am I gonna do with party supplies? Stock up on paper hats? Like most things in the pearl, it's a front. Ask to see the special reserve. Oh, I get it. Secret hats. <laughs> sure, just don't run up a tab. You might think you have nothing to lose, but they'll find something. <laughs> I did not know that Ziggy's got a biggie. His Iggy Pop has a cockatoo named Biggie Pop. Oh, that's awesome. Rut row, rut row, Reggie. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh, of course, there's opportunities. Okay. <laughs> TF2 players <laughs> freaking out. Uh, special hats. Alright. Beach party. There's a party at the beach. You love parties. You should go. Heard about a pop up fighting ring around here. Could be a good place to hone your skills. Fight club, beach party. Meet Tay. Attend the Myriad Spirit. Ah! Attend the mystery. <laughs> or go to a party store. Distru disrupt the paradigm of the industry and maximize your core competencies. Heavy. Citizen, that, that's too heavy. Uh, the Beach Party Fight Club. Um. Own my skills, or I love parties. We like the party. Who rocked the party? And the party. Uh, wait, there's a big monster thing that probably really stinks when it starts to rot. So, you find a small group of disheveled people sitting around some rocks. <laughs> This looks like a fun party. Hey, man. Are, are you here to lick the goo? <laughs> Excuse me? The goo. Ever since the beaching, it's been washing up on those rocks. And, and you lick it? Yes! <laughs> But you have to pick a color first. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Ask questions, lick the chartreuse goo, lick the taupe goo, lick the mauve goo, decline to lick the goo. <laughs> party, 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 party. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. Uh. Ask question. I'm having a weird deja vu, guys. A really weird deja vu. Alright. So, who was the first one to lick the goo? And that's a good question. I'm going to ask questions first. I'm not quite sold yet. Ask about the... I'll ask about the multiple colors. <laughs> What happens if you lick all the colors? <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because that would be greedy. I'm going to ask about if I'm going to lick the goo, chartreuse, mauve, or taupe. I'm 
guess. Chartreuse. I guess. <laughs> what does the chartreuse do? <laughs> That's the <laughs> That's the color of words. <laughs> Which words? <laughs> Powerful words. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, I can ask. Okay, let's ask about mod. <laughs> Okay, what happens with Mav? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Just take my word for it. Don't pick Mav. Ask about the tote. <laughs> it's just wrong on so many levels. Have you tried the tope? That one's a real trip. It makes you forget your violent impulses. Do you have a lot of violent impulses? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Which one did they tell me not to? Don't pick Mauve. I want to pick Mauve. You realize you have to do Mauve now. <laughs> I know it wasn't Mickey. He won't lick it. He hates everything. <laughs> nice. Rather. Um. All right. Let's let's go, Mav. Uh. <laughs> Make mine, Mav. No. That's the most dangerous color. You really shouldn't. I'm doing it. I'm do we got one we got one fate point. We can die once and still continue. Whew. I'm gonna insist on Mauve. Make it Mauve. <laughs> I have a I have a hankering for Mauve, hash damn it. Don't say I didn't warn you. You find an undisturbed patch of mauve ichor and have a taste. <laughs> Everything goes dark. Your head feels like the weight of an entire ocean is crushing down on it. Through the pain, you hear scuttling. Oh, fudge me. No, shouldn't have done mauve. Um, <laughs> then, now he's... Make mine mauve. Now he's part of the Merry Marvel Marching Squad. Oh no. <laughs> and poor Paz Locke is still hanging out with me. Dude. Oh no. Goo monsters. Let's do this. Smith Battle Tutorial. You're about to fight a smith for the first time. Would you like a quick tutorial about their unique mechanics? Hells yes! Whenever smith takes damage on his own turn, his moxie increases by a random amount between 1 and 2. At the end of his turn, smith heals for an amount equal to his moxie. After healing, his moxie is halved, down to a minimum of 1. Use self-damage wisely to trigger large amounts of healing. Okay. Okay, dudes, let's think. Whenever Smith takes damage on his, on his own turn, his moxie increases by a random amount between one and two. At the end of his turn, Smith heals for an amount equal to his moxie. After healing, his moxie is halved down to a minimum of one. Use self-damage wisely to trigger large amounts of healing. Oh my goodness. Yeet those yotes. <laughs> the Marvel Alliance. Batoons. Don't make me. Alright. Um. <laughs> Mauve salute zero. Okay, focus. I'm trying to learn something. <laughs> Some of Smith's cards have the drink keyword. 
These cards add an empty bottle to his discard pile. Empty bottles can be played normally, or can be used as a resource by other cards for powerful effects. Drink. Draw one card. Draw a card. Expend. Expend two empty bottle cards from your deck to play this. <laughs> yes, I see why Smith was last. His, his, yeah, he, he's got a lot of intertwined mechanics here. Use the bottle indicators above Smith's draw and discard piles to keep track of how many bottles you have available. Most cards can use bottles from anywhere in your deck. Oh, interesting. Go, go, catch it, alcoholism. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hopefully this is like a seriously basic battle, because I'm... Ooh! Hammer. I got a hammer. Where's my... Where's my not space hammer? Uh. Uh. Oopie doopie. <laughs> That's it. And I'm sure I've got a empty bottle around here. I'll just have to drink all this bourbon. I'll have an empty bottle. And then I'll be just like Smith. I want to be just like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Now I'm ready. Okay, Smith. Let's do this. Insert hammer throw or bottle smash into your hand. Neat. Apply three defense. Okay, nobody's coming after me, but I could defense, defense my bud, and then smash. Or bash. Smash and bash. Okay, let's toughen up our bud. Let's toughen up our bud. Also, just a heads up, it is noon. Yeah, I appreciate it, JD. Thank you. I, I was just keeping an eye on it. I uh, I do not have to be anywhere today, so we'll get through this. Uh, this. The only thing I have planned for the day is at 5 o'clock, me and the whole oldest elf are doing our, our home campaign. Um, that's been a lot of fun. We've, we've had a good time with it. Okay, so... Since I defended my bud, maybe I should spend one empty bottle card. Okay, it's too early for those cards. So, just a bash. What do you got? You're going after my bud, and you're doing something else. Okay. So, let's hit the one going after our bud. Did I just miss? I just missed. How did I miss? I've never seen someone miss before. Oh my gosh. 13 points of damage. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Focus. Drink. Improvise. Choose one of three cards to put in your hand from a pool of special cards. Okay. Drop kick, drop kick. Will give me six damage, which I will heal, which gets rid of one of those attacks. I can apply, apply three defense. Or I could pick this. All right, I really want to see how this mechanic works, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go there and go here. Okay. And I'm going to... Okay, and I will 
Ugh, I really want to draw from the special cards. Let's we're we're just learning him, so let's do it. Let's drink the green juice. Oh no, I killed my healing. Oh, by drinking the green juice. It affects, well, I'm learning. I'm learning the thing, so, okay, fine. But it changed my, it, it dumped my recoverable health. head button oh we got he just these things are button us right in the jimmy junk okay oh my gosh all right my buddy's about to get hit for like eight butted in your butts yes exactly front butts um, front bums. Isn't that what they call it? Buttception. <laughs> uh, 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 he's about to surrender? Oh, he will surrender after you crash him for eight. Okay, I see. So, we might as well focus down on this guy. Um... Let's toughen up. Save that bottle, because it'll go over into the discard. Um, let's add the defense. And let's just bash this guy. If I don't expend it, it'll go over here and I can use it later. Is what I'm assuming. So I'm going for it. Yep, there it is. It's one. One empty bottle. Okay. Ah, oh, he's got claws too. I see how you are. Alright, so drop kick, drop kick. Yep, so let's drink. Adrenaline. Power. Spend one empty bottle card from your deck. Apply one impair. What's adrenaline? Attack damage is increased by one at the end of your turn. Remove all adrenaline. Oh. The murder mate. Oh my god. Herod the Brock. They drinks have names. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Alright. Murder Bay Blaster. Drink. Gain one power. How long? I don't know how long I gain one power for. Hmm. Impair. The, this target is reduced by 33% at the beginning of their turn. Reduce impair by one. Eh, I'm going to drink the Murder Bay Blaster. Wait. I've got two points left. Bummer. Let's expend a bottle. Aha! <laughs> it's awesome. Alright, and then blap blap drop kick drop kick and drop kick. <laughs> World Wrestling Federation style. <laughs> Victory! Pick a battle card. Any. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh. <laughs> Look at his hat.
<laughs> okay, I'm dumb. Uh, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Activates an added effect if damage is at or above the threshold number. Threshold number. Oh, so wait. Activates an eff added effect if damage is at or above the threshold number. Oh, so if I get six out of two to six, out of the two to six, it applies to impair. Threshold six, apply two wounds. Threshold three, gain two adrenaline. Whew, okay. Looks like the power one is permanent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the adrenaline is temporary. Yeah, okay. You got to know when to hesh them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to New York nerve strike. You never count your punches when you're in the ring. Oh, Smith is a big dummy. I don't know which card to pick. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, adrenaline was attack damage is increased by two. Attack damage is increased by two at the end of your turn. Remove all adrenaline. Okay, so this is a play it first card. The two adrenaline one sounds, yeah. Have 66 chance to get plus two damage for a turn. Yeah, and you start. That's like I said, that'd be a start of your turn card. Yep, let's go for it. Restore resolve. <laughs> you catch your breath as reality returns. You okay? And so show up. Yeah, actually. Or wait. Actually, yeah. I feel stronger than ever. <laughs> the goo is good. Totes. Alright. Alright. Okay, it's, it's getting to be after. I should go grab some lunch. Okay. So. Whew. Oh, that's the monster. How the hell did it get there without, like, crushing these islands? Did it fall from the sky? Is Mr. Manhattan here? Look at its tentacles. I did not understand that this was all a monster. I thought it was like some concert stadium or some weirdness. Do you have, like, this... Oh, do you like this over Slay the Spire? All right. I have played a lot of card games, but uh, I have never played Slay the Spire. So I am really enjoying this game. Um, it's a lake. Is it a lake? I think the lake is around it, though, right? This looks like the water. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm weirded out. I think that's the goo. But... Uh, but yeah, I've never played Slay the Spire. It's on my list, but it's funny because it's kind of what spawned a lot of the other card games. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I have no opinion. Sorry that I cannot help. Uh, la, la, la. I played Slay the, Slay the Spire. It got awfully samey to me pretty quickly. I can't decide which one to get. Oh, this dude, I'm telling you, this this thing's been fun. The art has been fantastically amazing. Um, I, I, I'm I not much of a self-promoter, but I've got the first two characters we've complete, we played through and got murdered both times uh, uh, over on YouTube. So if you want to watch a little more of it, jump around and 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 you can you can get a, a better uh, a better idea of of which is what. Like I said, this changes up mechanics with each character a a, a ton, a ton. So each character feels different, and then 
there's the deck building aspect within each character. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd totally recommend uh, Grifflands. Besides, I really like, uh, I don't know how, I think you pronounce it, Klee, uh, the designer who did this, designed um, uh, Oxygen Not Included. He's done a new one uh, that was called uh, Potion Craft, I think was one of the ones out there that he's done i i just i'm i i don't normally like you know fanboy for developers but that's uh it definitely one i would i would look into yeah yeah oh my god yeah the choices you side with i mean i ran the last route i ran the last character going one route and and i ended up going around the other way it it really is interesting oh yeah and don't starve i've never played don't starve that's why it's not in my in my brain box ds day it was my go-to game for a while nice 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 all right um but i am over time uh like i said graybeard's tavern if you want to check out some of the other bits and bobs and and get some of the other mechanics and whatnot i suffered through them so you know you don't have to um okay risha played a lot of don't starve for a while we played dst a few times but had problems with other people we were playing with being not exactly uh, yeah understandable all right yep it's about that time for uh i have if you guys have noticed i've not been doing my song lately so i think today uh i will i will do the song <clears throat> now it's time to say goodbye to gb and all his friends i hope that you'll come back next week to this locality to have a heap and helping of tap water mead Ah, no i love you guys i'll catch you later Mm, bye.